So one of the, um, the cool things about these lists in Java is that I can actually use them to store any type of Java object. But as we pointed out, this creates problems when we're trying to maintain type safety in Java because when we put things into a list, if we use what's called a bare list and we put things into it, what Java does is it automatically upcasts those references to be capital O object references. But then when I retrieve something from the list, I also get a capital O object reference, which I have to downcast. That downcast is potentially unsafe, particularly if the list contains a mixture of elements, uh, which I also might not want. So I might want to be able to tell Java, look, I'm creating this list, but the only thing I want to put in it is strings. I don't want to put integers in it. That would be a mistake or some other type of object. This is possible in Java through a feature called generics. We will talk more about Java generics later in the semester. We'll actually show you how to use them to design your own classes. For now, what we're going to focus on is using them in our own code. Um, and so one thing I want to point out, and this might be something you saw in the past, and we did see it in the past, and we're like, oh, don't worry about that fuzzy stuff. Just squint your eyes hard enough and you won't see it. Now I'm going to show you what it is. So, the list interface. So when we talked about list, we pointed out that uh, in Java, list is an interface. It's a contract that different implementations provide. If we look at the documentation for the list interface, uh, we see this, let me make this a little bit smaller. Um, we see this in brackets here, this weird thing, and it's just never made any sense. It's like, what's going on here? This is what's called a type parameter. And in Java, this is used when you declare a variable that is a reference to a list to tell Java what type of item is going to be in that list. So what this allows us to do is to tell the compiler, this list is going to store strings, or this other list is going to store integers, or this list is going to store pets or whatever. Anything that I put into the list using the list method. So for example, uh, if we look at these list methods, so it's using E as a type parameter. That's essentially a placeholder. You can imagine taking this documentation and everywhere you see E, stick any Java type, string, capital O object, some type you just created in your program, right? Anything you wanna, you wanna store. Um, when I add something to the list, what I add has to match the type parameter that I provided when I created the list. That's what's cool about it. The compiler is helping me here. This is an is a relationship. Right? So if I create a list with capital O object, I can put anything into it because everything has an is a relationship with an object. But if I create a list and I declare that it's going to store strings and I try to put a capital O object into it or an integer or something that doesn't fit, the Java compiler is going to stop me. It's going to say, hold on, that this doesn't work. You'll also see, for example, when I used a parameterized list and I call get, get and add, you know, these are the core, some of the core uh, methods for interacting with Java lists, what I get out is something with the same type that I used as the parameter. So when I call list.get whatever, what comes out of that call, the return value, is actually a string if I declared the list to hold strings, or an integer if I declared it to hold integers, or whatever. And so both the get and set methods, and quite a few of the other methods here, um, respect the type that I provided when I created this parameterized interface. Um, you also need to apply this to the implementation. So for example, if I look at array list, which is one of the implementations of list that you can use in your programs, it also takes a type parameter. So both the interface and the implementation of the interface have to uh, agree on what the type is. There's a nice uh, shorthand in Java for having the two match that we'll show you when we, when we in the code example when we work with lists a little bit. Um, but this is what these are, right? And so it's kind of exciting to be able to finally explain this to you because we've looked at some of this documentation and it's just like, oh no, sorry, Java has this confusing thing in here. This is what it is. Um, it allows us to essentially preserve two really useful features of Java. One is the generality that these lists can store any type of element. The other is the type safety. So now I can tell Java what type of object I'm going to use this list for, and the Java compiler will help make sure that I use it properly.